camera man here, folks. Everyone says I don't look into the camera. Now I am. Well, now I am again. Anyways, I'm here with the one and only. Stunt man! What are we doing, stunt man? Well, today we're going fishing. We're, we're going to take fishing. you guys. We're going to take you guys fishing with us today. Okay, so as you can see, I am rigging up the line. I got a nice uh, 16 inches or so of uh, strong leader. You can catch bluefish with this rig right here. Uh, I got 40 pound test. Okay, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. 40 pound trilene boy. mono test, so you can catch big fish with this thing. Okay, I'm gonna be putting a couple of uh, gets angry for nothing. Couple of weights on there Very also. Serious about fish. You love because, fishing, by the way. Yeah, Bob. by the I way, don't. I do love fishing. Okay, I don't. So let that be known. He he doesn't love it because he gets sick. He gets all sick. Oh, that happened to me once in my life. Yeah, he turns all green and everything, and then starts throwing up all over the place. It's pretty. Funny. How often? See how correctly I speak. How often did we fish when we were younger? All jokes aside. All summer long. How many snappers did we catch? We filled up bucket loads. Bucket loads of Shinnecock Inlet, Shinnecock Bay. That's right. Some people call it shiny cock. That's what I call it. I call it Shinnecock, all right? I call it shiny cock. Out in the Hamptons when we were kids, we were very poor, so we just had to pull up to the dock and fish until someone realized we were there and then they would kick us off. But what about when Uncle Joe would rent the, he rent the rowboat with a motor on the back and he'd go to sleep and we'd be wailing around going the wrong way, going in front of ships and stuff and yachts. True, true, that's very true. Doing jumps off their wakes. All right, shut up! I'm rigging us up right now. Over and out. We'll see you guys in a little bit when we go fishing. All right, we'll be right back after these brief messages, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have Stuntman over here with some tools in his hands. A lot of you people don't realize how handy I am, but anyway. One see hand that? In one his hand, because it's cold. One hand. Wow, he's good at this, folks. Okay, one hand. Now, when you go fishing, everybody, you need a fishing hole. You need a place to fish. Hold on, the phone's ringing. And right here, we have a double overhead can, 16 valve. Fishing hole. This is where you go fishing. Folks. This is where you go fishing. So you don't have to sit here and watch me my technique on all this. What I'm doing. Yeah, he doesn't want to give up all of his secrets, folks. Folks, I'm starting a new company. It's called Neutral Drop Rot Removal. Yeah, there you go. I fixed it. One shot removal, folks. The Elantra, folks. It's the GLS. Folks, I'm a little concerned. You look in the trunk, you got a shovel. We know what this guy was looking to do. Oh, he's going to weigh down the body with this, this sick bastard. Unbelievable, folks. I ain't buying a car from this guy again. All right, folks. Uh, let me... Stunt man got a little frustrated. Man, there's so many screws, screws I can't reach and shit. So I'm just gonna bash it. Let me get the hood back. Nice. That's how you find the double overhead cam, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm into my fishing hole. Nice. All right, folks, he's getting his fishing gear all together. He's rigging it up. Just want to show you guys what we got here. We got the Yukon XL, and guess what it is? You know what that means, right, folks? It's a big slut. That's what this thing is, folks, a big slut. Let's walk around it, because it ain't bad, folks. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Did you just say this thing's a big slut? Yeah. Because it's the XL it's an, and it's an SLT. I think we're going to beat on this one too. I think we're going to give this thing a beating. A beating, folks. That's what it deserves. We may salvage this rubber too. Nice. Look, he's trying to hook me. Let me see that hook. All right, folks. Bear with us. He hasn't been fishing in a while. All right, folks, we start it up. Here we go. Listen! This is my first time motor fishing! 
You never mowed a fish before, folks. And now, I got the hook. I got the weights. It's motor fishing, folks. See if he catches anything. For all you fishermen out there, you can appreciate this. You gotta be patient. You always got to be patient when you're fishing. He catches anything, folks. Come on and break, you son of a bitches! Your hook came outside. Hold on, your hook is stuck. All right, let's go, folks. Nothing like fishing on a Saturday afternoon. You gotta get it on the other side, yeah. No, that side. These fish ain't biting, folks. Hold on, we're gonna chum the waters. We're gonna chum the waters, folks. Folks, we chum the waters. As you can see. Oh, bro! He's got something. I got a bite! Whoa! He's got, I got something! A bite. He had a fish I on. Had a Hold fish on. on. We'll get it back on. He's got a fish on, folks. Did you lose it? Did you lose it? I, I, I my gear. I think, I think I needed more than forty pound test. Ah, folks. All right, all right. We got something better for you, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you call motor fishing, folks. Motor it's motor fish. fishing. Not for nothing, folks. But I look in the car. You tell me that's not a nice pick. That thing's been around about 50 years, folks. We don't ask questions here on Neutral Drop when we buy your car. It ain't our business. You got a shovel in the trunk, maybe a bag of a bag of lime. I, I don't know, folks. I'm just saying, the pipes get clogged up. You know, with the blood, I, I don't know. You know, he's got to clean, I, I, folks, I don't know. And this mask, this thing's been in his yard about 10 years, way before this pandemic, way before, folks. A glove, I'm, I, folks, I don't know. Folks, it's a station wagon, too. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Wait, folks. Get over we here. We don't talk around. Get over here and shut up. Wow. The fishing thing didn't work out that well. There it was, was pretty no good. Yeah, you had a few Either on the line. There was no fish or nothing was biting one up. But get over here. Hey, not every every fishing day you. is uh My line got all caught up yeah. for, for whatever reason. But I just jumped off the internet right now, the intranet, as, as we joke around, call it the intranet. And I discovered that this motor is an interference motor. So get over here! Oh my god, my ear. Son of a bitch! This right here, everybody, if you don't know, and God would if you if you don't know, don't, don't admit it. Oh, easy, easy. You don't cut the whole belt. Not... You leave about an eighth of an inch. We're going to cut the belt. We're going to rev the balls off of this thing. Because I looked it up. It is an interference motor, which means uh, it, there should be some type of uh, loud noises or whatever when we rev the shit out of it and it breaks. So, Let's see what happens. Let me get on this and start cutting. Come here. Get over here, you son of a bitch. Like I said, oh, you got. If you cut this whole belt, it's your last day. It's coming off almost. Hold on a second. Yeah, a little oil. But I don't know if, if I'm getting all the way through. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Atta boy. How about this? You run it with the belt like half on, too. Try that. No, no, no. I'm going to rev it up. It ain't going to break at this back. point. It ain't going to break. You don't think? Nah. Should I cut it some more? A little more. Hold on, folks. We'll be right back after these brief messages. Folks, let me give you the close-up on the belt. Fishing? The fishing 40 line. 40-pound test. 40-pound test is not enough for a hunt day. No, it ain't. Okay, look. We're going to start it up. Let it rip. Let it rip. I hope there's a nice explosion to this, folks. Ah, it broke! I ruined it, much. folks. I ruined it, folks. We ruined it. 
I ruined it on us. Look at the look of disgust on his face. Let's go get another belt at the store. Ah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, folks. Wah, wah, wah. You know we're gonna do it again. Don't fret.